Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today I have a finished object to share with you, a whip, and the bags that are going to pay in the shop. <laughs> so I'll do the crochet stuff first and then the bags second if you're not interested in the bags. But first, my finished object. I haven't got to crochet very much at all the last week or so because June has been teething and been very grumpy. <laughs> but my first finished object, she's practically finished. All I gotta do is glue her little accessory into her hand. But it is Marie Curry from the Iconic Crochet Women book. I'll link the book down below. You can purchase it on Amazon and other places. And uh, she is bigger than my queen. I should have grabbed her. She's up there. <laughs> because I used a bigger hook. The queen, I think I used a knee hook. And with her, I used either an elf 3.75 or a 4 millimeter. I can't remember if I used a FRG. But uh, I wanted to make her a little bit bigger. But she's super cute. And then here's her little flask of uh, radioactive fluid <laughs> and I'm just gonna hot glue it into her hands uh, because this is for me it's not for the kids so it's gonna be on a shelf <laughs> and uh, I think she's cute as heck <laughs> but uh, she she was a lot quicker than the Queen I just didn't get to work on her as much as you know like as quickly all in one setting <laughs> uh, I had to spread it out for a while her hair is kind of annoying it says in the, the book to like position it with your fingers and it should stay but it, it keeps not staying <laughs> But she's made a bunch of pieces, so if you don't like making pieces, I wouldn't suggest this. And she ain't got no shoes on. And I wish I had thought about that before I made her and just went ahead and put shoes on her. Just like black for a few rows. But oh well, she has a long skirt, so it doesn't matter. So I do just have to hot glue this in her little hands, and she'll be done done. And I can put her up there with the queen. <laughs> I do want to make more of these little characters, but I think I'm going to wait a while because we really don't have the space to have them setting out. And um, with that being said, I do plan on getting the new book when it comes out. The second one, it comes out, I believe, in March uh 2023 and it's got mary shelley in it so i will definitely be making mary shelley <laughs> but the rest of them that i won't make which is pretty much all of them i'm going to wait until i have somewhere to put them <laughs> i like to have all of them you know like up somewhere but that's my uh her head is a little floppy i did put a spine in there but then i forgot to stuff around the spine so there's a spine in there but it's like useless <laughs> so she'll be like leaned up against something probably but that's okay because it's for my own self and i don't mind all her yarn is uh, Red Heart Super Saver, except her skin tone is all of this yarn, Light Peach. And I use 12 millimeter safety eyes. And then her, her little flask, uh, this is all worsted weight. This is, I think size 3 or 2, I'm not sure, <laughs> uh, yarn that I have. And it's just a green color and a white color. But that's her. So that's my finished object. Now my width, I'm working on one of these. I'm about halfway done with one of them. And I'm going to make one that's twice the size. <laughs> and I'm using an eye hook. Let me dig it out. It's living in my reusable donut bag that I think I stole from my sister. <laughs> that has all of my um, variegated scrap balls in it. Uh, just all the random colored ones. And so I'm using all my variegated scraps. Uh, in no order, I'm just, when one ball runs out, I just reach in there and grab another one. To make a door draft stopper. I gotta trim them. I'm using the magic knot and when they... When they end up on the inside, I just leave them. But when they end up on the outside, I'll just go back and trim them eventually. But it's a door draft stopper. So it's one of those things you put up against a door to keep air from coming in. And this is a free pattern by the Crochet Crowd. Um, it's very simple. You just... I'm holding yarn double and using an eye hook. Uh, I started with 6 and 12, 18, 24. And then you just do 24 stitches for the length that you need it. <laughs> and then you just decrease the same way you increased. And that's it. And it also said to stuff it lightly so that it can, like, form to the shape of the door. So I've been just stuffing it a little bit as I go. And this one's a little over halfway done. This is for the front door. And then i got to make one that's twice the size of that for our back door that's double-doored. Uh, because there's really bad drafts comes up all of our doors. <laughs> so uh, normally I just stick towels or blankets, like, up against the door. So this year I thought I'd actually make some door draft stoppers. And hopefully they'll work. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to keep them up against the door. I have to figure that out but um i know some door draft stoppers have like loops on either end and i'm not sure where you're supposed to loop those to <laughs> so i might have to figure something out like that uh, maybe put a tack on the side of the wall and then i'll just have to remember to move it when we're trying to leave <laughs> but uh anyway so there's that i like the way it's coming out i'm just holding two very good yarns together and i'm just using up random balls that i grab out of there there's, that's what this one's dark and <laughs> it's like all kind of light up here but uh i think it's turned out pretty cool so I gotta make two of those. So that is my finished object and my whip. 
uh, I didn't make a video on Wednesday because I actually forgot that it was Wednesday <laughs> on Wednesday and Thursday I was going to make it and then June was just teething bad so Thursday and Friday I didn't make a video because of dealing with her <laughs> but anyway so here's the bags that are going up in the shop actually today because it took me forever to get them done I just want to go ahead and get them in the shop so um let me say today is Saturday November the 19th uh and they'll go in the shop at 5 p.m central standard time so the first three prints I'm going to show you there's only one of and these are tote bags they're uh Oh gosh, I can't remember the size. They're like 15 by 15 wide, 13 tall, something like that. Uh, they have boxed bottoms. They're quilted. They have handles and snaps and pockets on the inside. And their sizes will for sure be on the listings. So if you're curious, just look at the listings. So some of them are wintry Christmas prints. Some of them are regular. So here's the first one. There's only one of these. It's glittery with little snowmen. I think it's got birds on too. Yeah, cardinals. So they do have, this one has a blue liner. And in the snap pocket, let's see. There's the pockets. Can you see them? There's like a bigger pocket. Oh, no, that's the lower pocket, and then the bigger pockets right there. I'm not the best at showing that. <laughs> so there's that one. And then there's this Christmassy print. It looks kind of uh, vintage, like a vintage print. Just festive, and it's got a all flat liner, a little green snap. And then there's this one. It's like a Christmas plaid print. Not plaid. What do I think? Quilted. And it's got the off-white. And it's got another green snap. And then all these ones have two. So there's two with Tinkerbell. That's purple. One of them has a yellow inside. And one of them is going to have a purple inside. Uh, I didn't have enough of that bright yellow. Or the purple <laughs> to do two. <laughs> and then there's two of this one with like the 1920s flapper girls on it. And it has the cream inside. And a purple snap. <laughs> and then there's two of this like country... Um, quilt print and they have the blue inside I think I think they both have blue I'm trying to remember I only brought one of each <laughs> in here and then there's this really pretty uh, it's like a flannel print but it's cotton <laughs> it's like flannel pajamas or something is what it reminds me of and they got the red inside and the white snaps and then there's two of these owl prints I like this a lot I don't really like owls but I like this print it's pretty Let's see here. One of them is yellow, and I think one of them has a blue inside. And then last but not least, <laughs> this is my favorite print from this update, is Christmas chickens. <laughs> the Christmas chicken print. They have red inside, and I think they will have a red snap. Aren't they cute? <laughs> Got a bow and a little hat. It's just so cute. <laughs> but that's this update. The next update is going to be drawstring bags only. And actually, if you want a tote bag for me, you need to get it this update, because I probably won't be making tote bags for a while. They are just so much more work and take so much more time. That's why these ones have taken forever to get done. I just don't have the time to commit to tote bags. Drawstring bags, on the other hand, and notion pouches, I can whip out a few of those in one setting, you know. But with June being so cranky <laughs> lately, um, I can't sew for long, enough, long periods of time. So uh, I'll probably won't be making any more tote bags until into the new year sometime. Whenever June gets old enough to start walking and playing more with her toys and less with me. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to be, I'm going to try to make two or three more updates, uh, the rest of this year. And it's going to be all drawstring bag sets. Some holiday ones, some regular ones. And then in the new year, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Just, we'll figure it out when we get there. But yeah, so check the shop out today, Saturday, November 19th at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Or Sunday or Monday, you know, because I don't know if everybody's going to buy them today. <laughs> but over the next few days, these tote bags will be in there. There's 15 all together. There's, uh, let's see here. There's three that's by themselves. So then there's six that are doubles. Um, and then, yeah, so that's it. I'll link the Marie Curry uh, book down below. And I'll link the Crochet Crowd Draft Stopper pattern down below. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.